Hey guys, Congresswoman Kat Kamak here. It is about 10 till 11 and on Tuesday, just wanted to get this message out as quickly as possible. Just got off the phone with the director of the National Hurricane Center and the latest update is not good. And they asked for help in getting the word out. The storm surge that they have been predicting was up to 12 feet. It has now been increased to 15 feet in our area for our district. So if you are in Yankeetown, Inglis, Cedar Key, Steenhatchee, Suwannee, if you are in that Big Bend area, the Nature Coast area, the Forgotten Coast area, get out now. 15 feet of storm surge is catastrophic. There's no other way to put it. And, and I don't mean to be um, an alarmist of this, but uh, speaking as someone who's been tracking this for several days now, we have had conversations with our mayors, our fire chiefs, emergency managers, our sheriffs, the governor, uh, the Florida Department of Emergency Management, the hospitals, the nursing homes, the National Guard, FEMA. These have been regular conversations for days and meetings leading up into this storm, and it is continuing to intensify and will likely be in the ballpark of a Cat 4. A storm surge of 15 feet is catastrophic, and there is no other way to put it. And as the wife of a first responder, I can tell you when there is a mandatory evacuation underway and you don't evacuate and you find yourself in a very dangerous, life-threatening situation, first responders can't help. And so I am asking you, pleading with you, if you can get out. There are so many resources. People are giving rides. There are shelters all across the region um, in every single county that have opened up. There are shelters for special needs, for families, for folks with pets. We have uh, resources for folks that have larger animals, um, whether it's, you know, sheep or donkeys and horses. I mean, we've got, we have got shelters for literally everyone. And so there's no good excuse not to get out if you are in a mandatory evacuation um, uh, zone. So the latest information is posted on our website, camac.house.gov. Uh, that is being updated regularly, almost hourly. And the best thing you can do is sign up for the local alerts in your county and your surrounding counties. So please do that. We've also been sending out text messages to folks in the areas that are most likely to have a direct hit. And um, for those of you that are from out of our district and out of state um, that follow our page, please say a prayer for us. Our district is dead smack in the path of Hurricane Idalia. And this is going to be, like I said, a, a catastrophic event for so many of our communities. So um, for all our friends in Cedar Key, Steen Hatchie, Sewanee, if you are in Levy County, if you are in Dixie County, get out now before the storm hits. Um, we'll be doing more updates here in the afternoon, but I wanted to check in, let everyone know that we have been on, on top of all of these briefings. And as we have been through these meetings, we continue to hear that this is escalating. And um, one of the other things is we're continuing to get fuel delivered and pre-positioned um, around the area. So once the storm hits, be ready, hunker down, and then we will immediately begin recovery. So say a prayer. Thank you so much for everyone sharing this video. If you have friends or family or folks that you know in Florida that are in our area, please, please, please make sure that you get out. You don't have to evacuate hundreds of miles away, even 10, 20, 30 miles inland goes a long way in saving lives. So say a prayer for our first responders, say a prayer for our linemen uh, that are ready to get the power back on for us. Say a prayer for everyone in this storm's way. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.